What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Got another ride and review for you today. I am uh, heading to meet the cake dealer and some of our friends over at a place called Haka Cuisine. Uh, Haka Cuisine is like a, um, it's like a type of Taiwanese food, I think. And uh, from what I understand, there's not too many of them here in the city, uh, restaurants that serve Haka Cuisine. So with a name like Hako Cuisine, I would hope it's pretty good. Some of the things they specialize in look really delicious. So I'm excited for it. It's gonna be a nice big lunch. Um, still waiting on the Flex uh, battery tray. I got the, uh, I got the battery itself, but still waiting on the mounting plate tray and then once I get that I'll be out, up and running in no time hopefully it's quick I think they kind of messed up on uh, not zoos but I think their um, their manufacturer messed up on sending it to me so we'll see how it goes so this place is um, it's on Division Street just past the uh, Manhattan Bridge, right over near Bowery. So uh, I'm just uh, zipping down into Chinatown. It's getting a little cooler, that's why I got this helmet on. Uh, it's still nice and sunny though. It's in the 50s today, you know. But uh, yeah, it's it's time. It's time to wear the full the full helmet. Uh, I also got some news on the Chimera. My bike is built and it should be on the way soon. Really psyched about that. I can't wait to get on that, get in the skate park with it, really rip around town with it. I'll probably need to get a second battery because I think if I'm going like throttle only, it's gonna be maybe like 10 miles. It's like an eight amp hour battery. So it's um, a little different than what I'm used to with the zoos. And there's no pedal assist. So, uh, you know, I'm either pedaling or throttling. There's no, uh, there's no like helping the bike out. But from what I understand, you can upgrade and do that kind of stuff and add that, but I probably won't. Unless it's really easy and it, you know, affords me an opportunity to learn how to work on bikes like that. But I'm not sure. We'll see. All right, this is Division. Taking this left. And this place is going to go under this bridge and then it should be up on the left just before Bowery. A little traffic -y over here. This really is a cool part of town though. I love it over here. Still got a lot of that gritty character. Uh, all right, so this place is just up here on the left. And I know there's some bike racks. So I'm gonna lock it up. Let's see, where is it? Uh, one more, just up ahead. There it is, Haka Cuisine. Let me just go up on the sidewalk. I'll lock it up right here. There it is, Haka Cuisine. See you on the inside. Like 
like they save, they make them. Um, that's like one of their special ones. You want beer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers, baby. Hey, for lunch? Hey, for lunch? Yeah. Yeah? You're so generous. Oh, there's ice cream. Yeah, I gave you a glass of oh, fresh. And then those are the that's oh, this one? bed bug spray. Oh, what am I right? Bed bug like, spray. And then, and then yeah. we're going to take this off. Oh, cool. Maybe this looks so good. Braised pork belly bacon. <laughs> got a future Instagrammer here. He's already got a pretty good account. Look at the look at the pose. Professional. So cute. Do it again. Do that again. <laughs> yeah, I did. What's up with this this beak? <laughs> That's awesome. You think the cheeks are good, like fish? No. Oh. <laughs> no, they usually eat the brain. The brain oh. is good. And you do a good meal with only had it with that. With the shrimp chips, right? Yeah, when the, the shrimp chips came up, you knew it was a celebration. Because it's so colorful, too. We had it with that papaya salad. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is he worried? Stuffed tofu. What's this? Is this the conch? No. no. That's, um, oh, look at the carrot. Sliced conch on ice. It's so pretty. <laughs> carrot flour, yeah. Well, at least it didn't rain today. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, yesterday, which is like... I can do this. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad at all. No, Alright, Hakka Cuisine. Man, that was good. Uh, we tried a lot of stuff. We did... Um, let me just see if I can get over here. Get across. A little traffic-y now. But uh, we tried a lot of stuff. We did, uh, hey, is that Frankie? It is. It's Frankie! Hey, Frank! With you. <laughs> What's up? I was like, damn, that looks like Johnny's fucking bike, bro. What's going on, man? Not <laughs> much, man. How you doing? I'm all right. Just, we... uh, just came by. I tried to see if my, the mechanic was there. Uh, the guy who uh, was right by the bridge. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave him a couple of spokes. I snapped one spoke. Oh, shit. Um, <clears throat> I ordered some, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure they're the right size, so he's got a couple of spare of mine, but he's never fing in there. Ah. <laughs> so I, I did a little shopping in the little market that's up and down the street. All right. There, That's cool. I'm going to go home. I got to clean my apartment. I got people coming over. I'll see you tomorrow, though. Yeah, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Right. Good running into you. All right, <laughs> I'll see you. All right, that's uh, that's my good friend Frank. He's got a uh, he's got a really cool Huck. You've probably seen him in some of my other videos on here before when we do group rides. Pretty cool. He's a good dude. He lives uh, lives close by. So um, so yeah. Anyway, back to um, back to this riding review. Um, we started out with. Uh, pork belly. The pork belly was cooked perfectly. It was really nicely braised, super tender, soft. Uh, just falls apart. Really delicious. Uh, one thing you got to make sure you do if you get that is get some rice on the side so that uh, you can soak up all of that delicious sauce into the rice. Perfect. Um, 
Let's see, what else? Then we had, uh, get this as an appetizer. It's a sliced conch. It's kind of like sashimi. Uh, I really liked it. Cool, crisp, um, good snap to it. And uh, it's a little heavy on wasabi, but I love wasabi. So for me, that was all good. That was nice. Then um, we also did like a side of pea shoots with uh, fried shrimp in it. Hold on, it's a little crowded. It's a little crazy right now in this spot. So yeah, pea shoots with fried shrimp. It was a little soupier than I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be sort of uh, like a stir fry dish dry, but it was wet, like a soup almost. I mean, not like a soup, but soupy, watery. The thing that they're really known for here in this spot is called uh, blossom chicken. And it's pretty wild what they do. They basically take a chicken, they take all of the meat out from under the skin. They mix up the meat with uh, like a shrimp, paste or a shrimp sausage and then stuff it back under the skin and then you know roast it up to a perfect golden crisp on that outside skin it's so weird and so delicious i highly recommend that it's like their specialty and sometimes they run out um so if you're going call ahead make sure they have it make sure they have some in stock and I think it's like 70 bucks. It's, it's a little pricey, but totally worth it because it's 100% unique. Uh, we also had like a stuffed tofu. The tofu was stuffed with, I think it was a sausage, some sort of pork sausage. It, um, it wasn't quite as flavorful as the other dishes, but still pretty good. But all the other ones are like, when you line them up side by side, were just a lot better. Uh, and then we also had um, this stir-fried fish dish, these little tiny fish. Uh, I don't know if they're called white fish or silver fish or bait fish. I don't know, but they're little tiny skinny fish fried up. Um, I was hoping for a little more spice on that, but there was a good amount of ginger, so it kept it nice and fresh and refreshing. So that was pretty good too. So that about does it. Uh, as always, jump out to the website, johnnyprimesteaks.com. You'll see all the pictures. You'll get the full, right up the full review. All of my thoughts and opinions that I didn't get to here. And make sure you like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Share this shit with all your friends. Tell your family. And most importantly, tell your fucking grandma.